Aurora Larson? Wait a second, I feel like you're related to us somehow and you just like came in and we're making out with Josephine. You're married to his, her son! Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hethman and we are back to play some more of the 100 Baby Challenge. We are almost done with our second matriarch. She is very close to aging up into an elder. And in our last episode, we saw the oldest kids in the house, Nathaniel and Quinn, age up into teenagers, and we got the younger ones closer to their next age up. We also took Jillian, who was our youngest female sim in the house, and we humanized her. So she was a werewolf as she was born, and we went in and removed that trait from her. So she is now a normal sim. She is still a toddler. She is going to be the next matriarch of the challenge, and there was just no way I was going to have a werewolf matriarch and do an occult thing. That wasn't happening. So she is now a human, but if we come on over here into our game, we can see that Josephine, who is our current matriarch, is one day away from being an elder. So in my version of the 100 Baby Challenge, I have had my matriarchs be able to age to change it up. So we have different ones just to kind of try to keep things interesting because let's be honest, the 100 Baby Challenge can get really repetitive and be really stale if there's not some sort of variability with it. So changing up the matriarchs, having them kind of start all over again, um, has kind of helped keep me going with this. As you can see above my head, we have had 42 babies so far in this challenge. Each matriarch has had 21. Hopefully we're on par to maybe only have four matriarchs, we'll maybe have one that needs to like make things up a little bit. But Josephine has been our first matriarch since the infant update. And let me tell you, the 100 baby challenge with infants is no joke. So let's kind of check in here on the kids and see how they're doing. Um, Nathaniel and Quinn are our oldest. They are twins. They just aged up into teenagers. So they are not ready for aging up yet. Oh, Noah's hungry. Here, um, why don't... Oh, Josephine's going to come and take care of that infant. Um, it's the weekend, though. They're not going to be going to school for the weekend so we can use that time to have them work on like school projects things like that because they have to have an a in school and then they also have to have a character value in range to earn it Ooh, and it looks like nathaniel's emotional control is not so good um but responsibility is usually the one that we get up and they they get the responsible trait as they age up so we'll, we can work on that over the weekend and then his twin is Quinn, and she is also a BC student. Something sounds broken in here. What's broken? Why don't you repair this? Um, She needs to get a skill to level three, and then she is also going to need something in range to earn it. She doesn't have any like major negative ones like Nathaniel does. Then we have Orion, who is the lone singleton in the household. He is a B student. He is set to be get an A soon, so he should be a teenager come Monday in game when he goes to school again. Um, oh, he does need to get his confidence up because they do need high confidence. So that's something that he can work on a little bit over the weekend. And then we have what were the werewolf twins, Jillian and Kane. So Jillian is going to be our next matriarch. She is no longer a werewolf. Um, She does still have like the plum bob. I'm hoping that'll go away when she ages up. Um, They need all of these skills to be level three. So she still needs movement, thinking, potty, those. Oh, it looks like she needs to go to sleep too. Let's get her heading off to bed. And then Kane is asleep in here and pooping his pants, of course. Um, he needs imagination, movement, and potty to be there. And then lastly, we have the last set of twins that are infants. We have Noah and we have Carson. So for them, what we are looking at is we are looking at three milestones in each of these categories, fine motor, first, gross motor, and social. So he needs one more gross motor, and I think Carson also needs one more gross motor. Yes. So they both need one more gross motor skill. So we are going to need to get some tummy time happening with them, but it looked like he needed a bath. Oh, Noah has rolled over onto his tummy. So that was his last gross motor. I think we'll have Josephine care for Carson and get him sorted, and then he can do some tummy time. 
Okay, Nathaniel has been working on his school project, so his responsibility is in range to earn the responsible trait. So we are liking this. Josephine is doing some tummy time with Carson, hoping to get that last gross motor skill sorted, and then probably will wait until morning to age the infants into toddlers, um, but we will be seeing them age up into toddlers. Say, oh my gosh, we're gonna have four toddlers in the house. But four toddlers is better than four infants. I kind of feel like the infants, like, in front of the bathroom is probably not the best plan, but I guess it is what it is. Okay, Carson has now learned to roll over onto his tummy. So, I do believe that is all the milestones for both of them, yes. Noah has three fine motor, three first, three gross motor, and three social, and so does Carson. So, I think what we will do is we will... I think there is a cake. Yeah, there's a cake in the refrigerator. So let's start by having Josephine come over and we will age up Noah first. And Josephine is going to be aging up into an elder today as well. Like today will be her birthday. And we did not have enough time to get these other, these two oldest out of the house to have her get one more pregnancy. We were really close, but we didn't quite get there. All right, Noah has now aged up into a toddler, and he has aged up with a happy infant trait, so good for him. He was a sunny infant, so we are going to randomize three times to determine what his toddler trait will be. One, two, three. He will be silly. We were so close to independent. So close. We've really not had that many independent toddlers, which is really unfortunate, because independent toddlers are very helpful, because they can go potty on their own and all of those sorts of things. But Noah will be silly. Josephine, you were not supposed to take a piece of the cake. We need to make another cake. I think we've got some batter though in the refrigerator, so it should be pretty quick. All right, make a chocolate cake so that we can age up Carson. And then you will also need to use that to age yourself up. Uh, sure, Nathaniel can like fitness, that's fine. Josephine, we need to get this next infant aged up. Stop eating birthday cake, make another one, and we need to get him aged up. I mean, I suppose we could have Quinn make the cake. Maybe we'll have Quinn make the cake since Josephine has to be- Get out of the toilet, Jillian! Get out of there! No wonder you're filthy and dirty. Oh my gosh. Go eat something. Okay, go use the bathroom. And Quinn, why don't you come and make a cake? Although it did look like Jillian reached movement level two and she has to go potty, so we should do that. And apparently Orion wants to be a ninja when he grows up. Um, we want to raise up his responsibility, so we're going to say find a ninja to train you. Uh, let's have Jillian come in and go potty, though, uh, so that she can get her potty skill up. How is Kane doing? Kane also has to go potty, so let's get him going potty, too. The sooner we can get those two not being toddlers, the better. Why did you bring the cake in and put it on the desk? That, okay, well, I guess there isn't technically counter space because there's a bowl here, so okay. I guess Carson is asleep at the moment. Oh, Noah has acquired the communication skill and he loves water. We have another one that loves water. Awesome, great. We love that. He's gonna play in the toilet all the time. Fantastic. And he loves sounds. I feel like Jillian was also the same. Yeah, she also loved sounds, played in water, and she was a light sleeper. Did you go potty, Jillian? Like you were supposed to- okay, you did. Now you need to eat. And then the bathroom is all like broken and stuff. Okay, someone come and repair these things. Josephine, what are you doing? You're just like standing outside. Okay. Let's wake up Carson and let's get him aged up. And with one less infant in the house, well, these will be the last infants in the house, actually, because we're not having any more babies with Josephine. So these will be the last infants, Noah and Carson, and then they will now be toddlers. We've got all the kids, like, trying to do all of the responsible, helpful things. All right, and Carson has aged up. He was a sensitive infant. He is also getting the happy infant trait. We are going to randomize again three times for him for his toddler trait. One, two, three. He is inquisitive. So one is silly, one is inquisitive. That's how Jillian and Kane were as well. One was silly, one was inquisitive. Okay, and just like that, we are done with infants until Jillian starts to have her babies. And, ooh, that's some hair choices happening there. All right, they need makeovers. So let's get them made over. 
All right, we have made over Noah and Carson. Here yeah. is Noah. So Ranji Missy Pekka was the baby donor for this set of twins. Here is his everyday outfit, his formal wear, sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather wear. And here is little Carson. They are both, they both have blonde hair and they had blonde hair when they aged up into infants. So we're, we're hanging on to that and sticking with that. Um, but this is little Carson and here is his everyday formal sleep party swimwear, hot weather and cold weather wear. And with that, we are done with infants for this matriarch and this generation of the hundred baby challenge. Okay, Kane has reached level three of the movement skill, so he needs imagination and potty. Maybe we can have him come and look at a book. Josephine is going to age up into an elder, so let's have her come and... Oh, she needs some fun. She's, like, feeling really tense because she doesn't like the music. I mean, you're the adult in the house. Just come and turn it off, Josephine. It's like, I'm uncomfortable. She's having a bad time. She doesn't like this music. She's not very happy. Um, maybe we need to, like, let her watch a little bit of TV and then we can age her up. I don't necessarily want her to age up, like, all, like, angry and upset because she didn't like the music that was playing. So maybe we can fix that. All right, let's go ahead and let Josephine blow out her candles. She's feeling kind of tense because she has love Lauren. She needs to show love and no one ha and have it shown to them. She has not had any romantic interactions in a while. Wait, who are you? Aurora Larson? Wait a second. I feel like you're related to us somehow and you just like came in and we're making out with Josephine. You're married to his, her son. This is your mother-in-law, and you're, like, making out with her? That's not disturbing at all. Curtis was Josephine's first child, and apparently he's married this Aurora person who walks into the house and was kissing her. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, uh, Ryan and Jillian can be jokesters. Um, okay, uh, genius. I don't know who you are, but Josephine's aging up into an elder. Here we go. All right, Josephine has aged up, seniority, wrinkled bellies, frosty locks, and internable naps. Oh wait, party like the Reaper is not right around the corner. So Josephine is now an elder. Our second matriarch is very much officially done having children, which means Jillian is officially going to be the next one who needs to sleep. We are going to have to give Josephine an elder makeover and have her looking like the senior member of society that she is. Okay, so Josephine is now an elder, and she is looking a little bit more aged. She's Her hair is gray. She's got some wrinkles going on. I mean, which is, you know, rightly so. She's raised a lot of kids. Like, it's been a lot of stress in her life. Um, I did change up her everyday outfit to give her something that looked a little bit more appropriate for an elder. Um, so this is Josephine now as an elder. We have made it to a Sunday morning, which is going to be a lot of like working on skills for the toddlers and getting those up. Orion has done all of his homework, his extra credit work, all of those things. The teenagers have done their extra credit work, so they are good there. Oh, it looks like Kane just reached imagination level three. So both he and Jillian just need their potty skills to be up. And they are both getting really close with those. So hopefully today we can also get them aged up into chi children. That would be really great. Quinn still needs to get a skill to level three. And she's got handiness, rocket science, and video gaming all like right about the same spot of level two. And we do have a rocket ship over here. So maybe we can have her come and explore space and get her rocket science skill up a little bit. It's kind of like a weird skill to get up, but you know, we have a rocket, so might as well do something a little bit different for her. A mysterious message. Once in orbit, Quinn gets an odd message from the International Sim Space Station. It's badly garbled and makes little sense. Quinn decides to fly over and check it out. Ooh, Carson has reached movement level two. This is good. He and Noah are going to need to be getting some skills up. Okay, Quinn arrives at the station, which is unusually dark. She flips on a flashlight and is startled by a disheveled looking astronaut. Thank goodness you came. Our main power coupling is shot. Is there anything you can do to help? So she has been fixing things around the house. So let's have her try to fix it. I love how we have like sent a teenager to space. 
There's nothing to see here. We are just sending a teenager to space. The things that happen in the 100 baby challenge. Not enough duct tape. Quinn puts together something from a collection of random parts around the station. Unfortunately, the only thing it produces is a sparky supply surprise and the faint smell of burning. Quinn apologizes and uses the rocket's radio to call for some real help. Head home. Okay, so Quinn was not successful in helping the astronaut emergency, I guess. And Quinn has safely returned home. Did that help her rocket science skill? Oh no, Carson is aggressive. Okay, that did get her rocket science skill up quite a bit. Let's let her go back to space again. She can go back to space and check out whatever is to be held there. Okay, she did reach level three of the rocket science skill, so that's good. Um, Quinn has set her sights on the moon. Should he, she orbit and observe or try to land? Let's let her orbit. Let's play it a little bit safe with her. Sunset Valley, we have a problem. Like a poor man's Icarus, Quinn flew too close to the moon and has slingshot her rocket up to perilously re-entry speed. She should keep plummeting home now any minute. Okay, she did at least make it back safely. I was afraid she was going to, like, crash and die. And she's a teenager, so she wouldn't count because she hasn't aged up into a young adult yet. Fortunately, she's back. Her rocket science skill is level 3, and we will let her stay safely at home now. Poor Orion has a loose tooth and is just, like, miserably uncomfortable right now. Okay, Jillian has reached level 3 of the potty skill, which means that as soon as Kane gets there, which should be fairly soon, he's at 78% potty, we can age them up into children. It would be good to get them aged up quickly here, and then they can actually go to school when they go to school on Monday. Although there isn't, like, this huge rush now because... We still need Noah and Carson to age up before we can get Jillian moved out of the house and ready to start having her babies as matriarch of the 100 baby challenge. But no, Kane is angry from new fang pain. Kane isn't just belly aching, it really hurts. Oh, and he's so close to potty. He's 99%. Pot okay, go potty one more time so that we can age up you and your twin. And he did it. He's reached potty level three. So all three, all skills are level three for him. All skills are level three for Jillian. So let's get that cake back out and get them aged up. Fluffy. All right. So we are aging up Jillian now. She is going to be a child and her and Kane will be heading off to school in the morning. I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, they're going to go to school in the morning. We are going to randomize for her childhood aspiration. Now, with Jillian, we may want to pay a little bit more attention to some of these things as she is going to be the next matriarch. So we may actually focus a little bit more closely on her, maybe try and complete her childhood aspiration to get like that bonus trait, especially if it ends up being one of those social ones, because that'll help her down the line. Also, her trait is going to matter now because this is going to be our next matriarch. So we're going to come over here for her aspiration. We're going to generate a number between 1 and 8 to determine what that is. And we got a 4, which is social and social butterfly, which, like I said, this actually works for her. So she's going to be a social butterfly. And then we're going to randomize her next trait three times. Fingers crossed that this is something that will help us as her being the matriarch. One, two, three. She's a slob. Well, actually, that might not be terrible because it's hard to keep your house clean as a matriarch of the 100 baby challenge. So being a slob may not be the worst thing for her. And now we are going to age up Kane and then they will also get makeovers. All right. So Kane has now aged up as well. And again, we're going to come back over here to generate his childhood aspiration it doesn't matter as much for him because he's not going to be the matriarch. So let's figure out what his aspiration is going to be. We got a three for him, which is motor. So he is going to be a rambunctious scamp. And then three times for his trait, one, two, three. He is a child of the islands. Okay. Perhaps moving over to Sulani for him. Now I do want to give them both makeovers as they are now children and they need a makeover. All right, so here we have Jillian, who is our next matriarch for the 100 Baby Challenge. We randomized some likes and dislikes for her, so she likes the color gray, jazz music, and funny sims. She does not like gossip or fishing. 
she does still have the werewolf trait like tied to her so i need to do some like investigating and see what we need to do to like make that like really go away in game i removed it through mc command center but she's still howling so we need to fix this this is her in her everyday outfit this is her formal wear athletic sleepwear party wear swimwear hot weather and cold weather wear and then here we have a cane who will continue to be a werewolf we kind of embraced his werewolfiness and gave him one of the werewolf outfits he's got like a little tail he's kind of cute uh, liked the hairstyle that he aged up with so i kept that the same but this is cane and here's his everyday formal athletic sleep party swimwear hot weather and cold weather so this the werewolf twins are now children so since they are going to be going to school tomorrow, I think let's get them doing their homework. Oh, Nathaniel hasn't finished his homework. He needs to finish his. It is Sunday afternoon and it looks like Quinn also needs to finish hers. We're missing like a homework thing. Here's one. They did their extra credit work, so they should be good to get A's when they go to school. But considering, you know, we want to just like be safe, have them get their homework done. It's like hard to believe Josephine is an elder. She's been through some stuff with these infants. Like, she had it far harder than our first matriarch, Catherine. There were no infants when Catherine had her 21 babies. So I feel like 21 babies with infants is really probably more like she had, like, 30 babies. Because the infants were really tough. Okay, so Jillian also does want to be a social butterfly. So she's going to need to meet some people. Here, come meet this person, Jeff Ito. Here, come meet him. This is Jeff Ito. Oh, you know what? We don't have enough bed space for all of them. We only have four normal beds. And we have five children and teenagers. Oh, dear. I don't know who this guy is. He just, like, walked into the house. But Jillian does need to, like, meet some new people. So we'll just have her randomly meet people. Who's this kid? Mindy Kialoha, come meet her. Now, as we are introducing her to people as well, we will be thinking about like who will be baby donors because she's going to need baby donors. She's also going to need to sleep. That will need to happen as well. Maybe we can let her sleep in here in the same bed as Josephine. Josephine doesn't sleep a whole lot anyway, so she could sleep over there. All right, so we finished that milestone for her. She wants to make a BFF and achieve social level five. But right now, let's get her to bed. Actually, you know who would probably work as her BFF is Kane because they are twins and they have like this super good relationship. So they probably would be BFFs just because of the twin factor. They are super tired too. We should probably send them off to bed. Who is this guy? Like, why do these people keep like walking in and flirting with Josephine? She's done having babies. Oh, good. Jo Ghost Jordan is here breaking things. We love this. Breaking things, waking everybody up. This is what happens with this with this guy. Okay, I did look up the cheat and I removed the werewolf trait from Jillian. So she is officially not a werewolf. The, everything is gone from her. So we should be good with her going forward being not a werewolf. Oh my gosh, everything in this bathroom is broken. Jordan, oh, you break everything. Okay, Josephine, come and start fixing stuff. I know it's like three o'clock in the morning, but everything is broken. And Noah is in here playing in the toilet and starving. Let's see, we've got to have food for him, right? No, we don't. Oh, good. Okay, so fix stuff, make food. Oh my gosh, it's Monday morning. Kids are going to school. Kids are hungry. A lot of things are happening right now. But I think with it being a Monday morning, with us having Josephine now being an elder, with the birthdays of the youngest two sets of twins, I think we're going to end this episode here for today. So right now we're just kind of going to be in kind of a transitionary period where we're finishing aging up the last children that Josephine has had and getting ready for Jillian to take over as the matriarch for our 100 baby challenge. So it's going to be a lot of just like working on skills, getting them aged up and moved out of the house. Jillian, like I mentioned, I want to put a little bit more focus on to help her get her skills up so that as she ages up into a matriarch, she's going to 
have a little bit more skills and a little bit more abilities to help her along that path, especially now that she's got this social butterfly aspiration. I think getting that trait that she gets from that will be really useful. So I'm not necessarily going to rush aging her and Kane into teenagers. We are done with infants for this matriarch, so having the teenagers in the house is less critical because the toddlers are a little bit more self-sufficient. But we're kind of like wrapping things up with Josephine now, which is kind of crazy to think about. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!